So we wanted to choose the prom because it fit along with our season, which is Forever Young. And so we wanted to have audiences think about what it's like to be a kid again and to remember their childhood. And so, you know, we had Big the Musical, we then had Peter and the Star Catcher, and then the prom because everyone remembers their prom. Uh, the character I'm playing in the show is Emma Nolan. Emma is a 17-year-old girl in high school and she's a lesbian and she hasn't been very well accepted by the students at school. She's struggling trying to take a girl to the prom and meeting a lot of pressure from the PTA to keep her home or away from the rest of the students. My name is Mitchell. Um, I'm playing Barry. Barry is one of the Broadway stars um, that needs a little good press in his life so he goes um, to try to help Emma um, get out of a sticky situation with prom. Um, he's very gay. Um, <laughs> he's larger than life. Um, and he's also very caring and he wants to help improve the situation. My character is called Trent and um, he's kind of the comic relief in the show. He plays a um, has-been actor on Broadway who's trying to make it on the circuit now. Uh, he's the fun character of the show. He's, he's the comic relief. There's a lot of comedy in the show, but he's, uh, uh, he's got some great, great songs and some great lines, and uh, he's going to be a lot of fun to watch. So my favorite part of the show has been meeting a bunch of people I previously did not know and uh, experiencing their, their talent, their joy, uh, their enthusiasm about what is an incredible story. My favorite part of doing the show has been meeting all of the incredible people who, who are just so talented and even more importantly, they are so kind and generous and welcoming. When I think about the show and um, kind of this theater community, it's, it reflects so many different people and so many different roles within a community. And it's not just focused on one person's storyline. There's really, you know, multiple layers of the story. And when I walk into a room of my fellow cast and crew, knowing that all of them have a piece of the story that they can relate to is the definition of what the show is about. The content of the show is really wonderful for this time in our society. So it's about these two girls who want to go to prom together in Indiana. And it was just this idea of, you know, you can love anyone you want, right? Love is love. And that was really a big reason of why we want to do this, to spread equality, to spread that awareness that, again, you can love whoever you want and that's okay. What I would love for people to take from the show is, of course, equality and love for all and just... I find a role like Eleanor, the artist inside of me thrives. I put on that wig and I hope that when people are leaving the show, they'll be thinking about how they probably know somebody who has been in Emma's position before, um, or at least something similar, and understand their role in protecting people. You know, I grew up in Rhode Island and I was out in high school and I faced very similar situations to what goes on in the show. So I hope that um, our audience walks away knowing that this does happen and hopefully that um, maybe they can make a little change in their own communities um, and that um, the story is universal. I hope the audience walks away from this show thinking that it was good to have been here and that they are in some way, shape, or form moved to a different place than they were when they came in. Um, a place of understanding, hopefully, or better understanding. Uh, that, that would be the biggest takeaway. Expect loud, fun, exciting, you know, knock your socks off. I mean, these actors are doing a phenomenal job. Joe and Julia, who are my musical director and choreographer, are doing a wonderful job with the cast and really just making this a bang up production. And I'm really excited for audience to see what that's going to be like. Yeah.